Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, that was a little funny starter to our usual live. I've been chatting away to you guys for the last five minutes and we weren't live. Thanks, Laura. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So let me welcome into the kitchen. We've got Phil and Angie Thorne in the kitchen and basically um, Phil is a follower of our um, page on uh, Facebook and every now and again he comes up with something smashing. Every now and again, did you get that? Every uh, now and again. Every now and again. His bakes are always really good. So a few months ago he actually popped up a picture of some uh, wedding um, cookies and they looked absolutely amazing. I said, Phil, you must come and do those. You must come and do them. And he said, in fairness, Carol, I can't take all the credit. I make them with my wife. I make the biscuits, my wife decorates them. So up popped Angie. Yes. Hi, Angie. Hi. <laughs> so she's been dragged from Essex up here to come and start de decorating cookies. And we're not allowed to make her laugh when she does them either. Yeah, the live <laughs> bit, the live bit. <laughs> so, um, Phil is actually a lorry driver during the day and what he does is at weekends he helps out Angie just by doing some sweets and treats for family and friends and they're here to show you how to make them. They're going to show you how to make the biscuits, they're going to show you how to decorate them, the tools that they use to decorate them and basically we're just going to have a good time in the kitchen, okay? Was there anything I forgot from my last speech that sounded really good that I forgot because we weren't <laughs> live, Laura? Because I was on a proper roll and it was all going good and then Laura tells us that we weren't live. So do we want to say hello to anybody? No, we don't. Laura's blushing in the background. <laughs> yeah. um, we've got lots of familiar names with us as usual. So good evening to Deborah Jones, Kat Riley, Lindsay McIver, Nikki Shevlin, Kaz Gibson, Doreen Griffin, Gwen Allen, Jill Sampson. Um, I'm not sure if we've got anyone new with us tonight, but if we have, please say hello and join in the comments. We try and get around to any questions that are relevant to tonight's live and anything we can't get to, we'll get to afterwards. Um, so yeah, well, good evening to right. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so good evening everyone. So make sure you give us those <clears throat> thumbs up, loves and likes for Angie and um, Phil, what's your name? Okay. <laughs> Usually forget everybody's name within three minutes in the kitchen. So Phil and Andrew, make sure you give them a big round of applause, those thumbs up, all those love hearts, welcome up into the kitchen. And again, if you are a newbie here, um, join in with the rest of the crowd. They're a really friendly bunch. Just let us know where you are. This is the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, okay? It's not a professional kitchen. Basically, it's where we have fun in the kitchen, show you how to make some sweets, treats and bakes. And anything that, you know, that could be touch our hair or face, don't worry about it because they're not for resale, okay? It's just for us. And usually, we used to save them for the warehouse, but Maria gets in now and scoffs the lot. So, <laughs> we get ever so excited. So before we rumble and roll, or roll and rumble, whichever it is, five new flavors. They're not all new flavors, if I'm honest. Some of them are flavors that we've had out before, but we've got our new winter packaging. Been chasing John for these for ages. So I love our new winter packaging. So we do these singly. Um, at the normal price or you can buy a bundle which is basically buy four get one free we've got mulled wine it's non-alcoholic so don't worry about it there's no alcohol in there but it gives a really nice rich flavor it's delicious it's delicious on a fruit cake it's gorgeous as the cookies that um, Phil and Angela are going to make tonight we've also got toffee apple which is fantastic for Halloween tastes amazing um, makes great cheesecake or it makes a great buttercream lovely fudge Apple crumble, Lindsay McIver's watching. I'm amazed we've got any left. She buys this for fun. She was driving me mad early in the year. Where could she desperately find some? So uh, apple crumble is out, that's brilliant. And then we've got Santa Snowball. So again, you know, when I'm doing the packaging, sometimes I forget some little things like to tell you what Santa Snowball is. So it's ginger and white chocolate. It's a new Santa Snowball. We've upgraded it, so we wanted to change the flavor. And uh, it's ginger and white chocolate this year, yeah? And then we have toasted marshmallow. Speaks for itself, absolutely delicious. So they're the five flavors. You can buy them individually or you can have them as a bundle. And then we've got the sugar and crumbs bake off. With the sugar and crumbs bake off, basically what we do is that we follow the Great British Bake Off on a Tuesday night. And then Jackie and Rob, Jackie Heaton and Rob Allen, they tell you what the theme is afterwards. And then you have a choice. You can either make three um, bakes if you want to which is the star baker, the showstopper, and the technical. So if you want to do three, your name goes in the pot three times. If you only want to make one, it goes in once. And if it doesn't go in at all, you don't go in this bowl. 
So this bowl here is everybody who's entered, and later on, one of you two can pick the lucky winner. Thanks. The reason we don't choose off the actual page is because we can't taste them, and some things look great but maybe not taste great. So, and I don't mean that awfully, but because we can't actually taste them and everybody's photo looks so fabulous, it's very, very difficult for us to choose who the winner is. So we think the fairest way is, is put your name in. If you've done three bakes, three tickets go in. And if you've only done one, you only get one. So you can see just there that there is names. So I will give them a little shake. So you will be able to see everybody's names there. So I will give them a little shake later. Hold them up like that. And one of you Who's two can pick one later. <laughs> Who's got the longest arm? Absolutely. Okay, so those we'll pick those out later on. And I believe you're going to start off this off with the bacon. Yeah, I'm going to do the, uh, the biscuits first. Yeah. Brilliant. So I'm going to pass you over to Phil. He's going to start making the biscuits. And I think he's using cherry bakewell flavour, am I correct? You are, indeed. Certainly. Brilliant. Hello, Hello everybody. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing the um, cherry bakewell biscuits, followed with. Uh, Further with the sugar and crumbs icing. It's uh, a fairly straightforward biscuit uh, recipe, but added extra icing to make sure the uh, it flavours nicely. Two designs. One is a flooded icing, which is a bit more difficult, which I leave to my <laughs> yes, other half. My, my <laughs> professional half. Yes, using the royal icing method. Yeah, you're going to use the real royal icing method. Yes, I am. Ah, good girl, love it. And uh, and also we're going to use the fondant method as well, which is the quick and easy way, which is great for if your child comes up to you one day and says, "I need some biscuits for school tomorrow. Can you do something?" <laughs> and yeah, get that in for that. So that's good. So yeah, we've shown you both those ways, but yep. back to you for now. Have we actually shown them, Laura, what we are making tonight? It was in the intro, but I'll just pop over pop again. Over. So this is what we're making tonight. What do you think of these bad boys? How good are these? Beautiful. Aren't they? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, first of all, we'll start to make the biscuits. So first of all, we need some butter. What we're using is uh, 125 grams of butter which is looking to put the scales on, that's better now. Oops, there we go. Let's see if I can uh, get it right. Oh, a little bit too much. Take a bit off. So lots of people watching and lots of people loving and liking what you're going to make tonight. Oh, that's good. Janet, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Is there a way to make the picture bigger? So if you've got your um, phone or iPad in portrait, maybe turn it to landscape. And if you don't want to see the comments, swipe to the left or swipe to the right. We can never decide. <laughs> <laughs> right, once you've got the, uh, the butter in, you need to add the icing. 125 of icing, any flavor. Tonight we're using um, the sugar and crumb. So the recipe is on the website. So for you guys who've got bags of ice and sugar, if you look on the back of the back of the ice and sugar, it will give you our recipe website, sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com. Pop over there and Phil and Angie's biscuits will be on there. You can use any flavour, but flavour of choice tonight is cherry bakewell. Indeed, so we're gonna just stick it on the mixer. A little bit of noise for a second. And yes, Kaz, there is Maria with a jumper on. <laughs> She's going to be triple layered soon. Just keep on slow, otherwise, you get a dust of uh, icy sugar everywhere. Make sure it's all creamy, mixed in together nicely. So this is not to do with you, Phil, it's Maria. Maria, Susan Tyrrell said, did you like the picture of the jumper she sent you? No? Oh, you missed it. <laughs> so Susan, she's not seen it. Yeah. 
Our cat says she thinks she needs a sugar and cone study. Oh, yeah. No, don't you start. <laughs> I'll just give that a scrape down because it's uh, getting stuck around the sides. Nervous look and a nervous laugh. <laughs> <laughs> all new it's all new territory. All new territory for me, I'm yeah. afraid. But it's very exciting. Good. Okay, that's all creamed together nicely. Just add one egg. Medium egg or large doesn't really make any difference. that until it's all incorporated. Shouldn't take too long. So everyone who's just joining us tonight we're making iced cookies using royal icing made the traditional way and at the moment Phil is a we've got a married couple here. You are married you two aren't yes. you? Yeah. Uh, we don't want any of that unmarried business going on in here. There's no <laughs> Yeah, I've been married very long. <laughs> so, only nearly 25 years. Yeah. 25 years. Nearly 25 years, years next year. <laughs> so, we've got a married couple in here, Phil and Angie, and they are. Phil is actually making the cookies, so he's just putting the mixture together for you, and Angie is going to decorate some pre made ones. Just going to make sure the eggs are incorporated. It's a little bit runny at the moment. Just give it a little bit extra. I don't know why you put this right in my way. Yeah. <laughs> Just to challenge you. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing is we've got a perfect shot of the mix of them and that's all the nuts is. <laughs> so Phil, is it salted or unsalted butter that you use then? It's unsalted. Yeah. And Julie Crompton loves your apron, Andy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would say it's very, pr yeah, very, yeah, very it's pretty. Nice very appropriate for next month, isn't it? Yes, it is. I knew there's something like that. Oh. Okay, so then we're going to add the flour, which is 250 grams, which is where you add too much. <laughs> This is what I like about a man in the kitchen. He doesn't weigh anything out. Just stick the bowl on the scales and add to it. Oh yeah, it's easy, isn't it? Less washing up. <laughs> uh, but who does the washing up? The exactly. Dishwasher. <laughs> oh, very rarely him. <laughs> That's like John in the kitchen. John cooks it. John does all the food shopping, all the cooking. But my God, he leaves a complete mess in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Hang on. Just give it a little helping hand. Otherwise, you're gonna have a flour. That's so evening flour. everybody and um, the recipe is on the sugar and crumbs mixing it up website. Laura and Emery has put it on tonight and what have you named the recipe? Iced cookies? Uh, two egg well, iced cookies and right. biscuits. Pardon? Two egg well, iced so, biscuits. So she's named them cherry bake well, iced cookies and biscuits. I'm going to change them to wedding cookies and um, so I'll change it tomorrow because you can actually use any um, flavoured icing sugar. So, Kaz, you don't need to sift our icing sugar and you don't need to sift flour anymore. You only had to sift flour many years ago because people kept it for so long it would have little weevilly things in it. Yeah, like mice. Yeah, yeah mice little mice, it. and that's yeah. why they sift it, but you don't need to do that these days. And our icing sugar is so light and fluffy, you definitely don't need to sift that either. Well, once you've added the flour, you just give it a little little base mix just to uh, get it incorporated and then tip it out onto your work surface and give it a bit of a knead 
and then roll it into a little dough ball. So Nikki Shelvin's on. One of her son's favourites is the velvet vanilla cookies, but he loves pink lemonade. Our, our oh, really? He loves pink lemonade. And uh, Nikki makes her own sugar paste using that, so she uses the pink lemonade sugar paste topping. Can I tip it out onto your work surface? So Dale Clark, Blackler, yeah. but Blackler, <laughs> clean work and no glitter. <laughs> Don't worry, the glitter's coming oh, out yeah. shortly. <laughs> we haven't seen Angie in use with it yet. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, the flour is plain. Yep, plain flour. You could get me some clean cream down, can you please? I can. What a team. What yeah, a team. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'll just be the gopher. Yeah, <laughs> you normally are. So, Leslie Walter, Nikki's sugar paste is delicious. She has been and made it here. She won't do a live. She says she's too shy. One day, you'll never know. We'll get her here. But she has been in the kitchen. And Maria did a little video that we did post on how to make the sugar paste and her recipe is on our website. Once you've got it into a, a nice dough ball, then really wrap it in clean film. And it has to be chilled for about half an hour. So just give it a chance for the dough to set, really, because you need to cut it out. Super. So I'm just going to this in the oven. Oven? In the oven? in the fridge. Was she just testing us then, if you were paying attention? Yeah. Of yeah. course. So, uh, and then we've got the one you made so earlier. the power of magic and television. <laughs> is the one I prepared earlier. That's what we like. <laughs> the one I prepared earlier. And the easiest thing to do with this is to roll it in between two sheets of greaseproof paper. <laughs> oh really? Why is that? Well then, because it, it, it tends to stick. Yeah. If it sticks, you can't peel it off and it yeah. just ends up mucking. But with the sheet of, of greaseproof, it yeah. really just disappears. Look at that. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. For us, and, I know, yeah. and some cornflour. Just dab the cornflour. It's looking mm. organised, this. Yes. We're never organised on air, are we? Crikey, are we showing us up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that idea. That's a really good tip, isn't yeah. it? So, how much icing sugar again? Icing sugar is 125 grams. And 125 grams of butter, so it's equal amounts. Brilliant. And, and the recipe is on our recipe website. And once it's on the between the two sheets, it's so easy to roll out. And you roll it out to roughly pan coin width. Or even a two bob if you're as old as I am. A two bob, yeah. That's how old I am. <laughs> or even a frotty bit. Yeah, a frotty bit. Remember those. Sixpence. You used to get one in your Christmas pudding, didn't you? Everyone fought for it. I, I, to say, you I don't pudding? remember them. <laughs> <laughs> no. I used to have a sixpence, and that was my treat for the week. Go oh. down to the shops and get a bag of sweets and fruit Nutellas and um, fruit, fruit, what are they called? Fruit? Salad. Fruit salads, yeah. that's the word. Good for yeah. a penny. You used to get a lot of stuff for a penny, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, once it's rolled out. Well, they like that tip. I think that's a really good idea. So, well you done. Can turn it over. If you want to, you just smooth it out because sometimes the, the paper just crinkles and you just leave a mark. So you just yeah. take it out, smooth it off. So Helen Mills says she was wondering what she was going to make tomorrow. Now she knows. Mm. <laughs> it's easy just to whiz it over and just check the width. Karen says she rolls out her icing in between clean film for the same reason. Yeah. Here we go. Done. Super. Simple. And then all you do now is take your desired cutters. Tonight we're using... Blossom, blossom <coughs> Sugar Art Cutters. Blossom. So we're using Blossom Sugar Art Cutters and this is the wedding dress. I have got a full range of cutters on. There's 75p on the website. So there's a full range on there. There's a baby's jumpsuit. There's a wedding cake, whimsical cake, little dress. There's all sorts. So they're in the wish list. What are you laughing at? Nail. Eh? Snail. Yes. Snail. Yeah, we have a snail. I love the teacup. Yeah, the teacup's quite like good. I teapot. Yeah, the yeah, teapot. Yeah, the teapot. Like teapot. If you behave yourself, I might let go on the one. Oh. Oh. I'm not And if I misbehave, don't you too? <laughs> I hope it's not short and stout in the teapot. <laughs> 
the summertime when I done this that it was so hot and everything was sticking and I decided to uh, give up in the end because it was such a awful mess. Nothing would would stay. It was sort of too soft, you know. Everything was mm. soft and falling apart. But up here, no, 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 it's cold. So, talking of fruit salad, I realised today I haven't tried the unicorn mermaid or llama flavours. Yes, they're going to be staying around for a while. John didn't believe that anybody would like them so much, and we are all pleased to say, us girls in the office, they are flying out, aren't they? Very popular. If you like the fruit salad, then you need to be trying the llama. Once you've used up all your dough, and you can gather up with the cuttings, and it's best to only re-roll it out another twice, otherwise it just makes the dough go hard, and I'll, I'll use that bit as... I was going to say, we're, we had silicon sheets, didn't we? Oh, no, I don't know. I got one. So, Jane, you're absolutely right. The teapot and cup would be a good idea for the Macmillan coffee mornings. That's a good that idea, is isn't brilliant it? brilliant idea. Yeah, making cookies. See how it's sticking to the, the rolling pin, because I haven't got the yeah, other bit of foil on it. There. There we go. Let's transfer these to here. Yeah. Uh, Julie Crompton, we've got all the cutters and all the cutters are on the wish list. They are Blossom Sugar Art cutters, so if you go to the brands, you'll find them in Blossom Sugar Art. And if you go to the Facebook wish list tonight, they are all under Phil and Angie's section, so they're all there. I've been a busy bee today putting all these things on. And then Phil and Angie last night surprised me with a load of goodies <laughs> over the weekend that they needed. And only last night I realised, so I've been on a mad shopping spree for some other things that they needed. And they're all on the website as well. Oh, you didn't hear me burp then. <laughs> did you hear me burp? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody did, but you've said it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. it. Well, I'll just say Phil was farting. I thought it was, I thought it was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, let's get back to anyway, sugar and Anyway, seriously. Yes. <laughs> seriously, once you've cut out all of your shapes and you've used that at least twice it's not really advisable to use it anymore because it'll just go all it'll just work it too hard and you won't get a very nice biscuit so once these are cut out then back to the fridge not the oven yet yet <laughs> yeah. we haven't got and how long are they going to go back in the fridge they go to the fridge for, for another 30 minutes yeah so, We'll just put these over here for now. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want another baking tray, that's all. That, that's okay. We just... And, uh... Yeah, we've got plenty of cutters, guys. I've got them in. Yeah, we've got circles, love heart, whimsical cake, wedding cake, dress, snail. Um, the one I've not put on the website, I forgot to put it on, is the cupcake cookie cutter. And I will get it on at the end of the night. So, is it by magic again? These are the ones just straight out the these fridge. These are the ones straight out the fridge. And these go into the oven, preheated oven, at 150 for 10 to 12 minutes or until they're just nice and golden. So I shall just... Are we, are we having a curved one? Look. I was going to say, what's, what's going on there? The oh, that one is just... <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Once it gets hot, that will... That and that. Shh. And look. Right, we're going to go in the oven with these. Oh, God. <laughs> Him. Right guys, so in the kitchen here, I have to be honest, since I've extended this kitchen, I have no idea where anything is. And I've now got the pleasure of three fridges. The problem is, I can't remember. And um, I had a nifty nozzles class on weekend and filled it up with water, Coca-Cola and other treats and forgot to tell everyone. <laughs> So I went shopping, bought, oh, bought, bought drinks for everybody and forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just kept looking in my usual fridge. So where are we up to now? So then? now, so they're in the oven now for be about 12 minutes, hopefully. So, um, but with the power of television <laughs> and <laughs> blue Peter. <laughs> Is that all right? There's some prepared earlier. 
because it takes so long to do Just the flowing. That curly biscuit must be for a curvy bride. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right, so these are the finished article. I'll put them down they for great, you to see. Don't they? They're a nice colour as well, aren't they? Can I uh, break one up? Yeah, yeah, if you want yeah, to do it. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Ooh, nice little snap. Go on, give us the other half. Let's taste it. Go on then. Go on, give Maria the other half. She'll be dying if I have more than that. Mmm. But these ones, um, I'm going to let Angie do the business. So good, you, aren't you? You always nice. behave yourself. Right. They're, they're delicious. So what do you want to do, decorate first? I oh, yeah. just thought it was like watching Blue Pizza. First of all, yeah. I'm going to get everything ready and start doing the fondant, I think we're doing right. first. Yeah, no worries. Do these back in so Gillian there. says, Phil, it's like watching Blue Pizza. Good girl, shit. All the shoes come off. Look. <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear. It's like Laurel and Hardy, isn't it? It is. Still, right. we to laugh, aren't we? Yeah. Over to you, my dear. Okay. Right. First of all, I'm going to try and find my fondant. Which I know is around here somewhere. <laughs> yes, here we go. So that's me. <laughs> Can you freeze the biscuits? Do you know? I've not frozen them, no, but I don't see why not. But would I you would, freeze the I dough? Would, yeah, I freeze the dough, dough, yeah. dough yeah. yeah. You can freeze the dough, yeah. It will last quite a while. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I think I would freeze the dough, but not maybe yeah. the cup biscuit. Also, they'd never last in our house. No, I was going to say, they're the gorgeous, they are, they're really nice. Right. So I don't think we've ever had anything bad in the kitchen, have we? No. <laughs> I start a diet every Monday morning and fail by, by 8 o'clock. <laughs> by Monday night. <laughs> is that going to work over? Yeah, we've got a damp block up there. Like, well, mm -hmm. Did we not prepare one for you? No. That's my oh, fault. I'm slapping in my new kitchen. <laughs> Lisa right. Clark said, someone please pass me a biscuit, they look, look yummy, they are delicious, I will tell you, they really are. Such a quick, simple recipe that, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Really very easy. There we go. Clean. I mean, you can use spices in it as well. I mean, I've yeah. put oh, yeah. cinnamon, mixed spice, nice. yeah, ginger. Yeah. And they're all our flavours then, aren't they? <laughs> you can use all those. Cinnamon swirl would be lovely, I think. I think the apple crumble would be nice because that's got cinnamon in it as well, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's my favourite time of year coming up. I love the spices of Christmas. Mm. Okay. But all we've got here is we've got white fondant and I'm actually going to colour it to make it ivory. Now, that doesn't mean to say you can get ivory, but we couldn't get any today. So, we're going to colour it. Sorry, I'm eating over here. And I'm going to try and find all my stuff to do the colouring. Everybody loves your apron. apron. Thank you. Who bought you that? Did Phil buy it? No, we went to an Essex food festival and there was mm. a stall selling them. And I thought, oh, I really, really like that. And I wasn't the lady with long dark hair, was it? Do you know what? I think it was. I think yeah. she had a long dark hair. She's out what she called at the kitchen. I can't remember, but she, she always tries to get us. us that, she, she always tries yeah. to get opposite us if it's the same lady because it looks like one of hers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't resist buying it. Oh. <laughs> right, so the, the colour I'm actually going to use is soft caramel. Can you see that okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tiny little dab on a bit of kitchen roll. Did we see that on that camera then? Yeah, it's alright, I've got it on the mat now. Because we don't want to add too much because otherwise it would go too dark. If you can come in a bit. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to avoid the fondant. Yeah. Right, so I've got a tiny little dab. That's quite a good idea mm -hmm. that you would do that. So why would you do that then? Just so you can just put a little bit out yeah. so you can just pick as much as... Because really, obviously, some colours you do want quite dark, but this, I don't want too much in there. So yeah. I'm just going to start off with a little bit. See, I would have squirted a big bit in. <laughs> <laughs> a dark brown <laughs> one, dark brown dress. You would have a kind of dress in. <laughs> Do you know what they say? You can put more in, but you can't, can't take it back out. That's it, yeah, it's true. like my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to need a bit more than that, though. So, everybody who's asking for the recipe, the recipe is on the website. So, we have a Sugar and Crumbs website. It's called sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com. At the moment, it's called what, Maria? 
Cherry Bakewell. Cherry Bakewell. Ice biscuits. Cherry Bakewell ice biscuits if you go and search it. I'm going to change it to um, wedding iced cookies. Would that be right? Would we call it that? Wedding iced cookies? Iced wedding cookies. Iced wedding cookies. <laughs> there you go. I didn't think it sounded right. Well done, Laura. Okay. I knew there was a reason why you worked for us. What can I say? How my uses? How my uses? Doesn't seem to be colouring that much, but there we go. I should add some more. Oh, there we go. There's a the colour oh, coming in now. Put it down lower. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It does take a minute for colour to come through. Yeah. People need to be patient, don't they? Some people aren't patient and they go, oh, right, I'll add a bit more now. Yeah, and I then think that's I too late, isn't it? A slight little bit too much, but it's not too bad. As you can see, it's still going in there, I think. tend to do is try and compare it to a bit of white you, yeah yeah you it's like you can't see yeah. the difference can you yeah. until you compare it it's amazing really because those cookies are lovely they're a nice creamy color aren't they yeah give them a flash again? yeah they're beautiful there's a slight difference yeah you probably can't see that too well on camera so the sugar paste that we're using tonight and it is massa tocino and um, I didn't actually have any ivory in stock to make it easy for Angie, so she's <laughs> having to colour her own. So <laughs> yes, you can see the difference yes. there now. Yeah. So I think I will leave it at that. It's also getting very sticky now. But so what? So I've done that, and now I'm also going to colour. I'll put this in. Let's get back so it doesn't dry out. Is the open? I'm sure it's confusing. Me. I can never get it right. Myself. No, me neither. Yeah. It doesn't okay. matter which way I go first, it's always the yes. other way. And leave that in there, Let's put that to one side. This is the Saracino modeling paste, which oh, is a little bit now. tougher. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you ever buy Saracino modeling paste, it's absolutely fabulous stuff, but it's very, very hard. Like most flower modeling paste and modeling paste, this Saracino is not flower and modeling paste, it's modeling paste. Flower and modeling paste is equally as hard. So if you struggle with it, just pop it in the microwave for five seconds. Do not go over 10 seconds, you'll have a sugary mess. But um, five, five or six seconds is okay in the mm. microwave, soften it up. I mean, I did work on this a little earlier, so this one's a little bit softer. Yeah. And if you do buy a kilo of the stuff, um, do chop it in slices and do a bit at a time. Don't be putting a kilo in the microwave. Just chop a couple of slices with your knife and do a bit at a time. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to colour this bit as well and I'm going to try and match the colour. So why do you use two then? Tell me then. Because I thought it was a bit strange when you requested two. Because I'm going to use this for the bows on the dresses, the detail, and also ah. for the little tiny roses. Ah, so, right. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Right, and I can't do the roses in the normal fondant because it's too soft. Sure. Very soft. <clears throat> so Jane Temple has been a good girl. She's been following us for a while. She's been on a diet as long as I have. She's lost four stone and I put four stone on. <laughs> so. <laughs> so well done, Jane. It's going to be tough. I wish I could lose four stone. I think, I, I think I'm going to have to have it sliced off. Have you lost seven stone? Well, you, I did, yeah. yeah. I lost okay. seven stone and I've put a little bit on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not too many baking though. perks. It's too, it's, yeah. too, it's, too, it's too easy though, isn't it? I know, yeah. I know. Oops, there goes another mm -hmm. stone. So look this time of the year, cookies and gingerbread men, absolutely. And if you make cookies with our flavoured icing sugar, they really, really do taste really nice. Oh, I love making them with the blueberry flavoured icing mm. sugar. They taste delicious. I don't think I've got enough in there, but I'm just going to look at the colours just to compare. And you can see yeah, it's still it's not more. yet. I'm 
just made uh, a snail a teapot out of the off cut. Just okay. to see what he comes out like for you. <laughs> Once it's cooked, and we'll have a share. <laughs> So the modelling paste will firm up again. The good thing about Saraceno is, if you use any other modelling paste, it will go rock hard once, you, once it's left to dry. The good thing about the Saraceno is, is that you can remould it. So if you make something with it, and then half an hour, an hour later, or a couple of hours later, you're not sure about it, you can actually just squash it all back together again so it's firm enough. So, oh, oven gloves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. I was just trying to lip read what Laura was telling me. So, in the bottom drawer, I think, are the oven gloves, Phil. There we go. Yeah, they are. Amazing. You could have shouted that out, Laura. You know I can't lip read. <laughs> so, you can see what's going on behind the scenes here. Phil's trying to get in the oven. Angie's wondering what the hell is going on, and I'm trying to understand the funny face that Laura's pulling. <laughs> what was that? Oh, no, that's that's his time. Uh, time. Yeah. Oh, you were spot on there, then, weren't you? I thought there was a problem then, you're going to. Like, I think we're nearly there. So. Um, Jay, who's just asking that question? Robert, is that a cake dusting template behind Angie? Um, I don't think there is. is that, that's a, no. Is that not a, a cake with a candle on it? Template. Does, does it mean that? The sand? Wait, is that what that means? I'm not sure, Robert, me. <laughs> Does the icing go hard on cookies? Um, the Saraceno will harden up, but she's only going to use that for things like bows, but it yeah. won't harden up to break your teeth. It will just harden up enough to just be firm. And Robert could hear you on his headphones. That's the problem with you guys who wear headphones. You hear everything. I normally have Maloney Grant going on. Yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you, Carol, whispering. I can hear you eating, Carol. Carol, I can hear you. Right. I'm going to move this away now because I've got the colour. Right, we can get rid of that. I wonder if Rob could understand what I was asking for, though. <laughs> and then I think you're going to show could hit, you Unless he could see sign language through the microphone. You can come back in. If I remember, you're, coming, you're, you're rolling the fondant. Am I? And I'm going to do, I'm going to do some of the bows afterwards. So you're going right. to, you're going to need that. What's the Saracena one? Isn't it? No, um, I've got the Saracena one. Right then. Kind of on the bag. There we go. Oh no, they don't open very well. No. We get it the wrong way around all the time. They are, she, I knew she was here, Maloney. They are. I can, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> so how many have you got to do? How many have you done? We're going to have two of I'm going to put them to the side a minute until we're ready to do them. And we'll get all your stuff that we need. Smells nice in here now, doesn't it? Really good. So that's where we fail on our diets. Look yeah. at Maria. See, she's still young and skinny. Wait till she gets to our age. Sorry. She'll be sorry she went for sugar and crumbs when she gets to our age. Hey, <laughs> okay. would be happy. I was skinny like you once. I would be happy. You once. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so we've got a smashing audience. Over two hundred people watching. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> So do you think they're doing well, guys? Never done this before, you know. It is really frightening, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, it's quite it scary. <laughs> I've only three of us here, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, that's all you've got to do, we... just think as though yeah. you're talking to me and Laura. Yeah, that's what I have to do. <laughs> Karen says, don't go to the toilet with a mic on. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's getting a little bit sticky, so just have a little bit of cool flow. Rub a dub dub. I know it's ivory and it's white, but it'll soon rub off. So lots of love outs and likes coming your way, which is brilliant. Thank you. So hi everybody. Anybody who's new who's joining, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. If you're new here in the group, please just let us know where you are. Join in the fun, ask some sensible questions, anything about biscuits if you like, and we'll do our best to answer them. If we miss them, 
I will answer the questions later or Maria will. You can always tell who answers the questions, well, whether it's me or Maria. Yeah. It's a very strange sentence that's come across. <laughs> so, um, so, so where are we up to now? So we're just going to cut out the actual same shape with the icing. And then we're going to... And this is the master to This is the master yes. to see now yeah. icing, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to use some edible glue and just coat the biscuit. And I can do that while you're cutting, Ron. Okay. Yeah. Over to my Valerie Singleton. <laughs> so we want two of those. So while we're cutting these out, let me just mention some classes that are going on. We have uh, Zoe Fancy Cakes coming in October. There's three classes. There's one place left on the bride and groom, uh, on the bride and groom. And we've got the basic characters. You'll do a character sat up, sat right. up and one, one stood one. up. There's plenty of space on there. And um, we also have the painted rose class. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah. look at that. I'm just going to place. See how you put your glasses on to put that on. Oh, yeah. Line yeah. it up. Yeah, line it up. Make sure it's just in, I mean, it will be just inside of the biscuit because it did, biscuit does expand slightly in yeah. the oven. So, uh, but it go. looks really nice like that, doesn't mm. it? That's just a plain. Yeah. Going to just lift that up to the camera. There we go. There we go. Perfect. How pretty is that? Stay yeah, there. That's perfect. Stay there. Perfect. What do we think of that? So we're going to decorate it. Well, Angie's going to decorate yeah. it. Up. I can't wait to watch you do that. That's just the plain one. one. So we do another one. Just cut out another. If you can just I'll, I'll glue the uh, make some more glue for me. Make it all tacky. So we've now got requests for hoodies. I'm having t-shirts made. The man was supposed to have been in today, but he didn't turn up. Did he turn up? Did oh, you see no, him? I didn't see yeah, him. Yeah, he said he was going to be in today with them, didn't he? Mm. So He was probably waiting at the door like yeah. I was. <laughs> yeah. Poor Phil was outside. I forgot my phone was on silent. Oh, so no. he's rang. I was he's I was rang go his on. text. And then I just saw the edge of his uh, car. And I said to Maria, Maria, Phil's outside. <laughs> So hello Sharon from Cheltenham. Hi Sharna, don't worry that you're late, you'll catch up. There we go, that's the two bridal dresses. dresses. They're so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. I think they're pretty just like that. So even, even if you can't do the royal ass in, they're quite pretty, aren't they? There we go. So no, you need a little bit of bling on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So watch these guys, because I've also got some cook, uh, cookie cutters for Halloween. I'll show them to you afterwards. We've got a ghost and a pumpkin and a bat. And we've got a great um, cake stand there as well, spider cake stand. Sorry, Pam. Mm -hmm. They're just pink t-shirts. I was thinking of getting some black ones, so we're pink writing. What do you think? What for the men? No, for the girls. The men wear pink. <laughs> they always wear pink. I'm the only man in the house. Yes. I have to wear pink because otherwise. I'm probably going to get some T-shirts in black with pink writing and pink with um, black writing. Would it be white, white, white writing? Isn't it? Yeah. 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 So there we go. There's the cake mm -hmm. and the dress. So we'll just leave them to... Leave them to just to settle, let the glue stick a little bit. Mm -hmm. Before okay. I start to get decorated. Mm. So I think what I'm going to do now is... I'll put this in a bag because we might... Okay. I'm going to jump into doing the royal icing. <laughs> <laughs> you need a bowl. I do need a bowl. Do you make it in the mixer, do you? I do. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 we're getting clean bowls. We're getting clean bowls. Even though it's my juice, you've got a whisk prepared. I, don't, um, I actually need the paddle. Do you need the paddle or the whisk? The paddle. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do exactly what you did because it's going to be nice and warm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe from way over here. Oh, that's all right. So, Angie, if you come over here, then they can see you way then. Is that right? I'm going to come over and I'm going to weigh out. And I'm just to check to see. So everybody's liking some of the black t shirts. Yeah. 
black for pink. Now I'm actually going to use yes. two egg whites in this mixture. If I was just doing the fondant and literally doing the line icing, I would only do a one egg. But because obviously I'm going to show some flooding as well, I'm going to do two eggs. So Good two girl. egg whites, that is. Egg whites. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, egg whites. Egg whites, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for two egg whites, I need 450 of the icing sugar. Okay, it looks like black's the colour for sugar and crumbs. Black aprons. Can we have pink aprons then? If it's black t-shirts, can we have yeah. pink aprons? Pink somewhere, yeah. aren't we? That's nice. <laughs> I let him do this bit, it's a bit messy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, a couple of fried eggs. Yeah. For tomorrow's breakfast. Stick a bit of another one, have an omelette. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then I've got to be very careful here. Actually, I might not wait for the eggs. If I put too much in, so if you see this ginormous bag of cherry bakewell, it's because I forgot to bring some cherry bakewell home for Angie and I only had the big bag, kilo bag. <clears throat> I'm just going to grab a bowl. And then Maria tells me that she brought some home. <laughs> <laughs> right, good. So we're, we're all agreed then. Black t-shirts, pink aprons. Okay, I can live with that. Why? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Good, that's good. Black yes. t-shirts, black t yeah. pink aprons. So we've just got to get our man to come in. Yep, that's a class bag, Jane. It's a massive one, a big five kilo one. I know, oh, if it was a small one, I'd be just tipping it in there. There's quite a lot in here. Cass Gibson, why does it need to involve pink? Because sugar and crumbs colours are pink. The company <laughs> branding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> we do the bigger bags of sugars in two and a half kilos, in five kilos, in only in various flavours. Yeah. Oh, How many flavours is there, Laura? Vanilla, baby. Vanilla, baby. Chocolate, chocolate milkshake, strawberry milkshake, velvet vanilla, salted caramel, raspberry and white chocolate, raspberry white chocolate, raspberry ripple. Strawberry milkshake, did you say? Um, lemon and elderflower. Eight, lemon drizzle. Lemon nine. Drizzle. Oh nine, I think. Yep, yeah, nine. Right. Mm. So I'm going to add this a little bit at a time. So that obviously it doesn't go everywhere. Pilots is golden. I know. Yeah. Apart from the machine. Everyone's concentrating. Yeah, it'll work. Let's <laughs> over and I'm going to put those cookies again. So let's have a look at these cookies again. the delay yep there's the cookies how pretty are them so we're going to make those tonight when i say we angie's <laughs> going to decorate those phil's made the biscuits and angie's going to decorate them i would attempt a few bows i am <laughs> i don't mind attempting you're going to roll one of those many tiny oh no <laughs> no i can't roll any of these bananas and just uh, rolled some really tiny little roses. Have you seen them? Yeah. <laughs> She's going to do it live as well. Amazing. I know, I can't believe I'm going to do that live. <laughs> That's the thing, once we get you here, we suck you into everything. <laughs> right. That's 
near enough incorporated now, so... Yeah, I'll just show you. Yeah, I'll just show you. Oh, let's have a look at those. Just bring them forward a little bit. That's yeah, it. Oh, yeah, look at those. So those there, those, those, are those that pink nail is mine. Wow. You know when we're talking about pink? <laughs> <laughs> so those those tiny little boys there, they were rolled by Andrew, weren't they? Use a little FMM cutter. Not then. Not then. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll show you how to make them. If you talk among yourself for a couple of minutes, <laughs> this is the original look. So I've added a snail and a couple of teapots. Ah, oh, the teapot's nice. Oh, oh, yeah. oh the snail yeah. comes yeah. out quite well. Turn around the snail so we can see in the snail. There's Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian in the snail. Oh, yeah. And the teapot. Yeah. They're good then, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 Even put them on, uh, do an icing cover for those as well. While we're there. They're cute. Yeah. I like those. So we're going to cook those now. It does smell nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, oh, amazing. It's, it's getting stronger, isn't yeah. it? Really good. So is that as simple as it is to make royal icing then? It is, but you've got to get the consistency right. Right. So that well, that was just icing sugar and yeah. egg white. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, if um, do you know I made lot... I made um, royal icing years and years ago, but what do you have to do to keep it soft? Because when I put it on my cake. I couldn't cut the cake and I broke my teeth on my little swirls. <laughs> Use water. Use water. Because <laughs> it, it's the egg white that makes it go stiff. And Is dry, it? Really but I really did. Like, I, de I decorated the cake. I wasn't any good in those days. But seriously, I cut my knife. Wouldn't cut through the cake. Yeah, I know. And then I used to do those like royal icing swirls. Mine were never the same size. I did those lumpy ones. One swirl was bigger than the other one. But, and then it, it was just... Um, I mean, you can, you, you can use water and it sort of, it can be quite stiff with water and then it doesn't dry quite as hard. Mm. But for the biscuit glaze, we try to get it mm -hmm. hard so that you can decorate it. I agree with you, Jane. Wouldn't it be good if we had a smelly phone where they could smell it all? Oh, it smells yeah, it good really in here. It is really nice. good in here. I'm not just saying it. Every, this is why I fail my diet every Monday. It just always smells good, doesn't it? I like it when somebody... comes in fish and chips. Oh, yes. oh no. <laughs> I didn't have any, though. I was really good. I had a McDonald's. And Maria, and... <laughs> Maria and I, on the way home, were starving. We've had no lunch. And we stopped at McDonald's, didn't we? 20 chicken nuggets later. Now, I'm going to try, and also, kind of this one, to make it ivory. Yeah. Natalie Porter's with us. Hi Natalie. Oh, hi, I've, lost the, I've lost the cocktail stick now. Um, was it on the kitchen paper? Yeah, it might have been. That oh, might have been oh, rolled up. Oh no. There are. Oh, there we go. There we go. And the kitchen. And the kitchen. And the kitchen, Ralph. And the kitchen, Ralph. I just keep looking at them. They are so pretty, aren't they? Oh. Very good. Clever girl. Oh, done yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well done Natalie. Glycerine will keep it from drying rock hard. Because a lot of people now don't, don't use egg white, they use the egg white powder. Yes. Yeah. But I still do use the egg white. Oh and it's like the royal uh, brown powder. I don't know if that's any good, is that any good? I don't know, I've never used it. Never used it, it no. Yeah. I did try using the egg white powder, but I couldn't get on with it. Yeah. I don't know whether it just didn't dry the same as I expected it to dry. So again, it's difficult to tell whether or not it's actually turned to ivory. Don't know it's a white one, will you? No, no, no. 
Yeah, more. Yeah, definitely add some more. It's quite lovely. You divide them here, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a trouble when you're waiting for ovens to uh, to cook, the mixes to mix. For anyone who missed any of the live from the start, um, just a quick reminder, the whole Facebook Live will be pinned to the Facebook page and it will be also be uploaded to the YouTube channel. You can watch it back at any point, they're on there for months. Um, and it's really to have really handy to refer back to, um, obviously, if you don't want to do this recipe straight away. Um, and then also, um, you'll see Maria hovering around over everyone's shoulder. <laughs> um, and Maria puts together all of the really important parts and the critical parts of the method um, into fantastic one minute videos. Um, so if you kind of roughly remember what you're doing, but just need a very quick recap, that's a, a great way to do it. So um, they will all be uploaded as well, and they're fantastic to watch. She's very good at the videos. Don't yeah. know what we'll do with her in our videos. Thank you. <laughs> so you're my go for now. <laughs> right, I'm actually going to put this into a smaller bowl. Is it, was there another glass bowl slightly bigger than that? Oh, the plastic one would be fine. Thank you. All right, so while we're waiting a minute, just let me give you a couple of updates on a few things. So, um, a couple of updates. The Dinky Doodle airbrush is on pre-order and we are expecting them the end of September. We did tell you that on the live, it would be the end of September. Um, we've only taken the £40 deposit off you. We've not taken the other £60 until the airbrushes are actually in our hands. Because like all things, when they come via the sea, they then have to go into customs and then they have to get to us. And I don't want to be asking people for the balances of their money and then you wait in another week. So as soon as they land in our office, which we're expecting them the end of September, so the end of September falls on a weekend. I'm hoping to be calling everybody on the 1st of October. Just what me and Laura need to be doing on a Monday. But we hope to be calling you then. I'm waiting for um, Dawn to give me an update. But she, she's just come back to me and said it will be the end of September. So we've just got to be patient. Don't waste. God, don't, don't waste any. Don't no, waste. I don't like don't wasting waste. any either. <laughs> Right, so at the moment, it is still quite stiff and it probably needs to be a little less stiff than that because it's going to be difficult to pipe. But what I'm going to do is, I coloured it. Now, I only coloured it because I'm only using the one colour. If I'm making a batch of cookies and I, I've got two or three different colours, I would divide it, then colour it, and then I would actually divide it again into flood and icing, but, oh, sorry, lime. And what I need now is I'm going to divide it into I'm going to need a spoon and a bowl. Oh, a big spoon. Okay. So as a rule, I tend to divide it into a third and two thirds. So a third will be for the line, and two thirds will be for the flood. Looks lovely, that, doesn't it? Okay, no, she's look, look, like that. That. That's probably where I was going wrong, it didn't look like that in the first place. <laughs> I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in there, which would be for the line. I think that's maybe a little bit more. So Julie said, how much Merry White would you add? Have, did you add Merry White? I didn't no. see you add Merry White. No. No. I think that was a, a conversation earlier, people were talking about Getting the pre mixed egg white yeah. powder and so that just oh, right. no. So, guys, everybody, we are not using any pre mixes here. We're making it fresh. I was going to say, I, didn't, I thought no. I missed something. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is fresh. And I have to tell you, it looks very easy. You and I could do it. 
So if we can get back to Angie's recipe here, that's what we're talking about tonight. Um, Jane Temple said, how do you know the difference for flooding and edging royal icing, please? Is it just a slightly different consistency? It is. And what I tend to do is I work on sort of seconds of how it goes back to itself. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I'm going to cover this over with cling film so while I'm working with this bit, this doesn't dry out. It's just like you do that with ganache, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yeah. Make some it's quite a good thing, that, isn't it? Um, Look at old cling film. Yeah. What did we do without it? Yeah, didn't exactly. Have right, so this is quite thick, and I'll, tell you, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about, the consistency. Is if I get a sharp knife, and you run through it like that, it Don't depends how long it goes takes oh, to go back. Oh, to go back. The just to tilt to the camera oh, sorry, slightly. Yeah. 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 So, okay, just again. To the so when you cut through, you see how long it takes yeah. for it to go back. And as you can see, it's not going back at all. No. Therefore, way too thick. And for line icing, you're talking around about 20 seconds for it to go back. Yeah. For flooding, around about five seconds. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some water. My assistant Danielle is going to bring it down. <laughs> so the recipe is on our recipe website. We're not going to shout it out because it, we'll just keep repeat, repeat. If you go to our recipe website, it's there. You'll see, you'll see it pop up. And we'll also pop the link on. The link has also been attached to this line, I believe, is it? Yeah. yeah. But uh, we'll put it back up again after. So quite easy, two egg whites, 450 grams of icing sugar, and we're using flavoured icing sugar tonight. We're using the cherry bakewell, and the kitchen smells beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna add a little drop of oyster at a time, and I'm gonna use a plastic spoon, which is any baby spoon, it's because it doesn't cut into your hand so much. And then I'm gonna gradually, yeah. And when you're mixing up round about five six colours trust me if your hands get rather sore that's a good idea oh. so as you can see it's already gone slightly runnier so before you do anything else just do the test again so guys believe it or not you've been going an hour really, really? it's flying by isn't it hey in the swing of things now. Yeah, that's it. See, it is gradually just jumping. about, yeah. But yeah. it's still not quite there <laughs> yet. But it's good to see it though, isn't it? What you need to do. And it really is the tiniest amount, isn't it, of water? Yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes it's a bit of trial and error as well. Yeah. Right? I mean, I've done it before. I've put it in the piping bag and it's just been too stiff so I've had to take it all out again. Oh no. Water. And I'm trying not to mix it too much because I don't want to get any air bubbles in it. I'm trying to be quite gentle. So try again. We're all paying attention here, aren't we? <laughs> Watching the live. The audience is paying attention as well. Can you let them see that camera? Come further here. There you go. So, it's cut still... it again. So you've still got to add a bit more water? I think so. Yeah, because it's, it's taken, taken a lot longer than 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Yeah. So, and it's a good test set. I quite like that yeah. idea. I mean, I think... And you know what? Slow and easy is the best way, because we yeah. all go in and rush things, don't we? Oh, we've got something coming out of the oven again, have we? Brian. Brian the oh, Brian the snail, yes, we've got. <laughs> Brian's got too hot under the collar. <laughs> right, we'll try it again. I never thought, did you want some um, some racks to put the things on? Put them on my baby. Yeah. Oh, you've got one. I've reached up. It's surprising how much water you do mm -hmm. actually need to add to it. Yeah, but, but if you went and put a tablespoon in, it would be too much, wouldn't yes. it? Yeah. So small and often, very sensible. Yeah, see, we're still not really there. I mean, sometimes I get to the point I think, you know what? I just pour it in. Do. I think, no, <laughs> I think you might do actually. And what I might do is I'd, I might put a spoonful in there and just test it to see. 
just draw a line. Don't rush. You know what? Just do it. Get it right. That's the best thing to do. We're in no rush. <laughs> a bit. When it finishes, I think we might be scoffing a load of biscuits. <laughs> 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 How's Brian the snail doing? Oh, he's a little bit brown. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit hot under, hot, it's hot under the shell. So thanks, Robert, for posting the yes. recipe. So Robert's just posted the recipe on the live for everybody who's asking. But all you've got to do is go to the Sugar and Crumbs Mixing It Up website. So other things to tell you, I posted a, a fabulous class that Natalie Porter is going to be doing with us in March. It's a two-day class and it's called Floral Antlers. Um, it is amazing. We've already had half the class booked. So if you want to jump on that, make sure you jump on it quickly. Um, I'm going to put a new class on tomorrow. Georgie Godbold is coming to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen on Saturday the 20th of October. So look out for that tomorrow. I'll be posting that one tomorrow. And that class is £75. What? Is it doing mm -hmm. it? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm, it? I'm, it's getting there actually. It is getting there. As you say, if I put too much in there... So, then... Julie, you've not missed anything. She's still adding a little bit of water at the time. I don't mean she. Angie is still adding a little <laughs> bit of water at the time. So, Alison loves the hints and tips we all pick up from these live demos. And to be fair, you know what? It's good because it's so easy for somebody to say, well, I just make meringue and I just water it down. But you know what? This is letting people see. It does take a bit of time. Take a bit of time. Yeah. So you get it right, and if you get it right, and you know the exact consistency, there's nothing worse getting it right first time and then mucking it up second time, <laughs> is it? Because it was just by good luck. So you yeah. know what? Let's look out for it. I think that's only there now. I'm going to cut it one more time. It was slightly blunt tonight, maybe. Gina, if you were here, you would be right. You'd be scoffing these biscuits. This <laughs> kitchen smells amazing. That's why I say I start my diet every Monday and fail by eight o'clock Monday night. Nice little drop, I think, and I'm going to go for it. Do you want Yeah. Quite well. Yeah. Yeah. So Phil's getting the bag ready. Something's happening. Yeah, do you want to get... <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll move over here and you can do the bag while I stir <laughs> this in. And then... Uh... I'm just going to use the piping coupler. What number do you want? Oh, number one. The only time I've ever seen uh, iced cookies done is on the on YouTube videos, but it's been that fast I haven't got it. So I'm actually really quite pleased to see yeah. this because I'm quite tempted to give it a go now, aren't mm. you? Because it's always scared me. Yeah. yeah. It has always scared me. I mean, I didn't even know the difference between all the icings a couple of years ago. Yeah. Because I watched, you know, obviously watched Baker Off. Yeah. Who's making all these biscuits? And I just think, it can't be that difficult. Oh, what were the first biscuits like that we made? <laughs> The icing didn't go very well, did it? No. So is that right now? Are we there? I think we might be. I'm yeah. just going to do one more little check while these boys do So we'll just uh, well, cut the bag. The bag. Or we'll put these couplers on it, so that way we can easily interchange the nozzles. Because uh, they're so small and fiddly, it's easier just to... So the couplers are on the website as well. And these and the nozzles are round, they're called round. And they're around one to four Angie's going to be using tonight. So if you've got nozzles, you need the rounds and they're one to four. They're ideal for, for piping your lines, for your dots, Do you want to put it in the for, ta for writing with. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna put a little bit in there to start off with. This is because you can't wait. <laughs> Why don't you just add some more water? No, because it might actually be okay. Because right. sometimes it kids you. Because it is, as you can see, it is quite runny. There we go. Just draw that down to the bottom. There we go. Yeah, there might not be enough. I'm going to try oh, yes. and okay. see whether or not I can get a line going. I'm just going to. 
a second one in. So there's quite a lot of people wanted to make ice cookies. Gina Lee's one of those. Really, she's been wanting to make ice cookies for some time now, but she's now been prompted to give it a go. I'm going to do it. There you go. go. Because then you'll be able to see it. I'm going to put it in here. You can see whether or not it's actually going to come out. Okay. Is that okay about that? Yep. Yeah. So you're going to do a little practice run on here? Yeah, I'm just going to see if it goes. See, this is actually not too bad. Because uh -huh. it's not... If it was too stiff, it would be breaking up. Right. So it's, it's so actually that's how okay. you know. Is yeah. this the way we're not to make you laugh? Because then you get a wobbly, <laughs> shaky hand. Like yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> it goes like that. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is this where you said, don't make me laugh, yeah. Carol? Right, yeah. okay then. Right, I won't. okay. So I'm, I'm now going to put the rest of them in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these tips on the end as well. And what's one of those tips? It just stops it drying out. Yeah. So, uh, so just put a little rubber silicone tip on the end. Yeah. Just to protect the icing and in the nozzle so it doesn't dry out. And also, if you're using flood icing, which is very runny, it stops it from running out the end too much. Yeah. You're wondering what this green thing is. It's a green glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've all got one. I don't need to vlog you one of these. <laughs> so it's just so she can put the bag over it and then fill up with her um, roll icing. Okay. All that going. Right. Sticky. So we will be doing the draw at the end of the night for everybody who's entered the Sugar and Crumbs Bake Off. That's week two and it is cake week. So everybody who has done an entry, if you've done one entry, you get one ticket in the draw. If you've done two or three, you get two or three tickets in the draw. And Angie and Phil, don't know which one is, is going to draw one see who the winner is. We're not, go we're not judging by pictures because all the pictures <laughs> look amazing. And because we can't taste them, we thought the fairest way is to do a draw. Do you agree? Do you think that's the right way? Yeah. I think so. It's nice, isn't it? All right, I'm just putting a little bag tie around this. You don't have to do this, but I'm... We do sell the pip, the, the pip. We do <laughs> sell the piping tip cover, and they are the Wilton ones. They are on the website, and they're in the wish list as well. Now, if I'm doing loads, I do... I, what happened to the stand? There. Yeah. The stand? You know, the one to put the bags in. Oh. Oh, oh what happened to that? Right. What did you do with it? I, I put know, it away. Did you, you go and put it away? I put it away. Go and get it. Yes, she needs it. Yeah, it's gone. It's the box. What it's, did you put it away for? Did you tidy it? Was it no, Surely it wasn't tidy enough. I friggin' bought them. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> So Phil's just going to go and unpack his bags. Yeah. <laughs> While he's doing that, I shall... And then if well, you can show that little purple thing yeah. there as well. So you, this is well and truly protected now, this, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got the tip with the coupler on. So when you change it from one to four, because you're going to be changing. Just come yeah. down Sorry. towards the camera a bit. And then it. you've got the little tip cover to stop your icing from going hard yeah. in the nozzle and drying up. And then you've got the purple tie there to keep everything tied in at the other end. And then we've got the piping <laughs> stand that we need. Because she's going to make a few. Well, yeah, if you're going to make a few, obviously I, I'm, I'm only making two tonight, but if I'm making sort of, well, up to six, then it's quite handy. You just put it in yeah. there, mm. put it to one side, and then it's done. So I'm going to move that to one side. Yeah. yeah. And the tip and covers the work for all size tips? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they no. don't work for nifty nozzles. No, they don't work for larger ones, no. but they do sell don't larger. They they, not, yeah, they are. Do they not come in a pack? They come in a pack of yeah. six, yeah. But they have the two they different are. sizes, don't they? Yeah, I think they yeah. do, because there was two different colours in the pack. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's move this back out of the way. Right, now I'm going to do... Right. Right. We're ready for the excitement <laughs> now. <laughs> We're going to have biscuits. We're going to do this now. Right, all this time. <clears throat> Kept you on the edge of your phone. Yeah. <laughs> right, so here we go. So as you know, it's very stiff at the moment. And then do you make this a bit weaker now? A lot, yeah. A lot, a lot weaker. weaker. Right, okay. 
So this is where you throw all the water in. I am actually going to throw quite a bit of water in there. <laughs> <laughs> Because the consistency for this one, you want it to sort of really flow quite quickly. So, but not too quickly that it's too thin. Mm. You don't want it coming over the side of your cookies. I mean, I can tell just by looking at that. It's just not, because it's, I mean, you can see when I do that, it's just not running back. Mm. So I definitely need more water in this one. <laughs> you got any more baking? Well, they were done. Yeah, I just took Brian out. <laughs> Brian in the teapot. <laughs> just wait for it to cool down nice and put some icing on it. So that's, again, I can tell that it's nowhere near. How long does it take you to ice a cookie once you get going? Bear um, in mind, we've only got 40 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. That was a big hint, that. Yeah. <laughs> It's not too bad. Depends how much you make me laugh when I'm doing the line icing. No, well, yeah. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Right, get on with so, it then. You're about to keep starting again. Right, get on with it, Ange. Come on. <laughs> you need to make the batter I mean, as well. I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting. Yeah, you can. I mean, yeah. the preparation for this. I mean, you should, oh, sorry, I'm just prep, prep. prep. There's a lot of prep for this. You can see it's still not going back, so I'm going to put more in there. One of the first ones I did, I thought it was flooding icing consistency, and it just wasn't. And it just sort of got a bit stuck everywhere. Right, interesting question, and uh, Julie's come up with that one because I haven't thought about this. How long does it take? How long does it take for the whole biscuit to set once you've done it? Keep going on. Good we're question. Out of time. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> the fondant icing will be ready straight away. Once you've done it. Yes, yeah, I reckon I can probably get away with this one. Let me have a look. The flat takes probably overnight to ha go to harden off. Right, I can. This is fine. So, you, where's my next bag? I'm going to use because they're quite big cookies. I'm going to yeah. use a number four. Yeah. If you're not flooding too much, use a number three. Yeah. And if you're really flooding a lot, use a, num a bigger number. Really? <laughs> yeah. You can do. How long does it take to set them? So you know, once you put the edge around, well, we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. Yeah, we'll stop. I mean, get from. you can. I mean, I put the edge around, then I do the the edge of the next cookie, and then I go back to the first one and do the flooding. Yeah. So it's quite quickly then. Isn't it? Yes, but then you have to leave it overnight, or you can put it in the oven, like in a fan oven, to help it set, which I was doing last night, and it actually worked quite well. Mm -hmm. so I think what we're going to do? Sometimes what we do is we work as a team on this bit. Yeah, I, that's fine. We're like team work. It's just the planting. Especially when we've only got yeah. 35 minutes left. Oh, great. <laughs> to me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs> yep, yep. We're going for it now. Right. We're going for it, we're going for it. <laughs> Maria, can you roll out some icing for me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. I'm just going to put that amount in there for now. So are you all enjoying this, guys? It's great fun in the kitchen, isn't it? You know, I really feel for Angie and Angie and um, Phil. Bing, Phil. Bing, 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 Bing. As I said, I really feel. Feel, 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 feel. We're accused of feeling Phil soon. So I really <laughs> feel for Phil and Angie. Because when you're new in the kitchen, you think you've got all the time in the world, and suddenly it's gone, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, it has. Right. Like the, and you like know the what? We, we get the professionals in here as well, and the professionals go, oh, two hours. Oh, I'll do loads of things, and I'm chasing them, yeah, aren't yeah. I? I'm like, come on, come on. <laughs> so, no, right. everyone's loving here it. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone's loving it, so don't worry. Right. So, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Yes. Oh, this is it now. <laughs> no pressure. This is gonna be no, nice, we're going to shut off. Don't look. Oh. Rare film. Don't look. Quick, turn it off. <laughs> okay. Right, here we go. <sighs> Deep breath. <laughs> 
کلم این پیتم سنت خواهد نیایش. Don't worry about breaking it. It can easily be joined. Average yield for the 120 microgram recipe. How many biscuits would you, you get? You could probably get around about 20 biscuits. Bring it yeah. on the. Um... It's amazing how many biscuits you can get out of it, really, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Put that down there for a mm -hmm. moment. That's good. To see. Lovely. Yeah, that looks good. Good, good, good. Yeah. So you did make me laugh. So I was all right with that one. Yeah. Do you need this old in a breath? <laughs> no, I We were all old in a breath then. <laughs> I thought I'm not looking. <laughs> Yeah, I think everybody's old in the breath. <laughs> they all feel for you because they do know it's also nerve wracking in front of all so many people because it's only us here in the kitchen. But when you've got 200 people watching you as well, it's like, ooh. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, you've got a good audience tonight. You said there was just the three of you. Yeah. <laughs> Gina, phew, done. <laughs> So what I do now, I tip back on there so it doesn't dry out. I'm actually going to put my glasses on. Because <laughs> I should have put them on before <laughs> for this detailed work. It's mad, isn't it? Actually, all the glasses are on, glasses oh, are off. God, it comes up I wear burial focals. Yeah. <laughs> I wear burial focals, so I don't know whether I can see out of them or not see out of them. Right. So, I'm going to put that back down there. Jane says you need a Hollywood handshake. <laughs> <laughs> And Leslie Walter says there was a collective sigh when it worked. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Everyone well. around the UK is going, <sighs> she's done breathe. it, good girl. Yes, that's the word. And breathe. Right, so here we go. Flooding time. <laughs> Gillian Thompson said, I've just heard that pin drop. <laughs> Gorgeous. We're going to meet Gillian soon. She's coming down to one of our Nifty Nuzzler classes in November with her daughter. So very exciting. Just pipe it in there. Like so. Let me get my little slider tool. This here. Just drop it down a little bit. Drop it down. That's it. I always wondered what they had that for. Just now we know. Push it into the gaps. Like this. Did you always wonder what it was for? And it just seems to self level itself. It, yeah, you once, know, it, once it, it, yeah. it, it, it will level out on it, all on its own. You give it a little tap. It is, you can watch mm. it here, it is doing it. It's yeah. Something. It's very time oh. consuming, but it's rewarding after Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I said the fondant way is the quick way. Yeah. And then what I do is I just give it a little tap. And well, sometimes, of course, because mm. you've done some of fondant on, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've done my Oh, we've only oh. iced one all night. <laughs> 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 now, I've got a couple of air bubbles in here, which I'm hoping that will go like that. And then there we have one. Oh, fantastic. So, right, let's give those thumbs around the right up. way. I'm going to Thank put you very much. much. And lovely. Lovely. It's all nice and glossy as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Everyone's like, it does look lovely, doesn't yeah. it? All right, oh, we're all liking that one. So now I've got to try not to drop it and put it over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll pick up the other one and I'll quickly ice fill this one in. No, nope, wrong one. You do know you have to stay up all night now and ice all these other biscuits <laughs> when we finish. I know. Me and Maria want them all with the full works on, don't we, Maria? We've told the boys everyone's going to be decorated if the boys get a look. No. Oh, you were very good, though. Last week you brought in fudge for them, didn't you? Yeah. Mm. 
خالی هست I actually think I would enjoy doing that. It's like playing, it's isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like the idea. Good little go. Oh. They all like it. Beautiful, flawless. Good job. Love it. We've got John and Leslie Walter watching. I have to laugh at myself. I've been calling this lady John N. Leslie Walter. Oh, and I actually thought it was a bloke called John N. Leslie Walter. It's John and Leslie. John and Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> the joint account. How dumb am I? So just in case anybody's new and is watching, John N. Leslie Walter <laughs> is John and Leslie Walter. Married couple. <laughs> Give a little tap. I love it, it looks good. There are a couple of little bubbles in there, but <laughs> there we have. Absolutely. It really is nice and mm. shiny though, yeah. isn't it? Will yeah. that shine stay, will it? Yeah. It tends to go a little bit. Yeah. I mean I I did read that if you put them actually in the oven and use the fan oven to dry them, it keeps the shine. Really? But I don't think it really worked that much. Yeah. So that's that. So I won't I won't ask anymore because we're running out of time. Right, there we go. You're yeah. Doing... Right, so here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Blue Peter. Right, so these ones are dried now, ready yes. for you to add your other bits to yes. it, isn't it? Great. Yes. So what we're gonna yeah. do So this is our Blue Peter moment. Actually, no, I still want that. Yeah. Really like. So uh, this is our Blue Peter moment where she's already out where she Angie has already <laughs> iced these earlier. So that we can put the other little bits on. So you yeah. know the, those ones that you've just iced now. How yes. long would you leave them before you started doing any more work on them? I would probably leave them overnight. Right. Yeah. Right. And they don't go soft. Would you have to leave them in an airtight container? The biscuit does soften down a little bit, but it's it's not too bad. It's, it's still it's really it's due yeah. to the it's moisture of the uh, of the icing yeah. where they go soft. And yeah. is that would you leave them in an airtight container overnight, or just leave them on the top on a? Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd cover them over, yeah, somehow, whether or not yeah. it's airtight or, or something. yeah. Like I have to agree yes. with Deborah, easy when you know how, yeah. You've made it look so easy, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> to be fair, I would be happy to give it a go now, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, I definitely yeah, would. I would be. I've never wanted to give him a go. I know, to them. I know Brian would. <laughs> oh, Brian! Brian! Oh, Brian. He's oh, he's just he's just moving one. slightly so we can see the yeah. shine. He's blinged yeah. up Brian. Oh, oh, blinged up Brian. Oh, if you know what the camera really doesn't do him justice. No. He's really blinged. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there wow. we go. Wow. So we do, we do do uh, Brian the snail cutter as well. We've got a whole load of them. And there's the teapot. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, like that's that well. gorgeous. Yeah. You have been busy up there. There we were. I thought you were shirking. Oh, yeah. no. Hey, look at you. Yeah, hey. I'm always doing something in the yeah. background. But you've run away. They look really cute, don't they? Yes, Susan, you could do them with the grandkids at Christmas. Christmas cutters. So we've got a whole range of cutters and they're 75p each. I shall not miss that one. Um, Jane, but I was just thinking exactly the same. I've seen the designs where the edge piping is a different colour to the flooding. Yes. Would you just have to leave the edge completely to dry overnight before you did the flooding? You would need to leave it overnight. I think, you know, give it half an hour. Right, like okay. Because obviously the, the line will dry a lot quicker. <laughs> Thinner. This is fun. Got a lot of school teacher. Yes. <laughs> oh. well, we, all, <laughs> we all love Brian. Bev loves Brian. Right, what I'm going to do with this one, because this is the actual royal icing one, which is dried now, I'm going to just put a little bit of water on it. A tiny little bit of water. So um, Elizabeth's saying, how hard does the icing set and how long would they last? They last a long time in an airtight container. Perfect. I mean, we're just like normal biscuits. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can sort of like expect it. And Sam Foreman said, could you paint them after they've set? I don't yes. see no reason why not. Yes, you can. Lots of people paint, don't they? Yes. yes. Yeah, yes. can't see any reason for that. So, so can we pull that up to the camera a bit more? So what I've done is I've just put a little bit of water on there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle it with caster sugar in a moment after I've done the actual... 
line <laughs> icing. And I want pink fingers of mine. Yes. Those big fat pink fingers of mine. And because I want the caster sugar to stick, put yeah. a little bit of water on there. Not too much. And then I need to pick up my line icing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my line icing over there. So it doesn't get in the way. And I'm sure this is my line icing. Again, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> right, don't look. <laughs> Don't breathe. Hold breath. Right, everybody don't look now because we might laugh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and it's going to go around the edge. So Dale Park Blackler says, Brian has to be in an S&C kitchen. He does. Glad you like your first order, Wendy. I'm not sure. No, I'm going to stick. No, no, see. Now, Charlotte McManus has just said, if you put them into cellophane bags, they last four weeks. This is going to come out a bit thicker now, I think. Charlotte's getting her first order tomorrow. Charlotte's gone. Mm -hmm. You can shade them with powder as well. That means you can dust them. Oh, doesn't that make it look nice? Oh, I like that. That's clever, isn't it? Is it me? And which tip are you using here this now? This is the number one. Number one again. I mean, you could use a number two that on really this. It really gives it a really nice mm. um, 3D effect, that, doesn't yeah. it? <coughs> oh, look at you go now, Angie, eh? There's nothing stopping oh. you now, is there? Look at this. Can we see that close enough there? Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> is everybody holding their breath? I was holding my breath. There's the pin. What do you mean did you do? Well, I need something to catch the sugar. I know I can throw the sugar at it now. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that'll do. I'm going to keep it on this bit of paper actually because yeah. it's easy. You just well, it. everybody can see it there yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is just normal caster sugar, is yeah. it? Yeah. And then what are we adding to it here? Nothing, it's literally no. pasta sugar. Right. So I'm going to sprinkle it all over. And you've got to hope that it hasn't has got a lump in there like it did earlier on me. <laughs> oh, I remember you said if you just use normal caster sugar, yeah. it's shinier, isn't it? Yeah. And then... It looks like a sheen. Shake off the excess. Do a little tap. Mm -hmm. Relax. And there you have... It's not finished yet, as you can see. Yeah. I mean, there's little patches that you need to just tilt it slightly, just so it can catch the light. And yeah. that's just a little, yeah, that's yeah. it. Wonderful. So I mean, it, obviously there's a little bit of a plain patch there. So what I do then is I get the water, which is gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's under Maria. Maria's got so busy, got her nose in. What are you doing there? Have you got your eye on that biscuit, Maria? <laughs> So that one then, I just put aside for a couple of minutes. That's that, you got it? Yeah. Put aside until Phil's hard. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Safety hands. And then we're going to get rid of the sugar. Oh yeah. Okay. Then this one again. Oh, I'm going to do. So they're not finished these yet. There's a few more things to go on them. So how, we'll how, how are we doing for time? Because I can. Skip You've this got 20 bit. minutes yet. Right, okay. Go on. No, okay, we've only got 20 minutes yet. Do you want to make these bows while you're doing that, or do you want to watch, yeah, watch them? I'm just going to quickly just... Oh, no, we're just going to see these. We need to know which bow mould to be using. Right, yeah. okay. So don't worry, we'll get it all done. She's got on with it. I need to stop calling you, she. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, some of these mobiles going. Yeah, right. Is that the kids? Oh, Dad, where are I you? I see you. What do you mean you've left home? <laughs> <laughs> I told her that's the cold June 18. Is that it? I'm watching you, she says. Is that what she's saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do it. She's going to do it. Across now, just to add a little bit of extra detail. That looks nice, doesn't it? 
It's amazing that extra little bit of detail yeah. really does bring it together, doesn't it? Massive yeah. difference. Yeah. Ooh. Bit of a big blob there. Yeah. Don't worry, it's always nice to have a big in there and again. For now, for now. That would make me laugh. <laughs> Not when I'm doing this. <laughs> so yeah, I did one last little bit. And then do the bows. So we just leave that to one side. That's very pretty, very effective. To dry off. Mm -hmm. I mean, what you could do is, I mean, you could put a little bit of sugar on this if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it for now. Yeah. So I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to move this out of the way. And let's get the bows going. Get the bows going. Let's get the bows going. Mm -hmm. Right, so... What are we doing? I've got me in Yeah, go on. I was just going to get this ball that you're lovely sparkled up. Yeah. <laughs> it's very sparkly, isn't it? So we're using two Karen Davies moulds here, the large rose and the bows mould. The medium, yeah, we're going to use the small, small rose on there for decoration and one of the small bows. And yet it's really funny with that large rose um, mould. In all the time I've had that mould, I've never used that small I one. Isn't that mad? Gone straight in. I've made the cookies and all and sorts of things with the big one. Yeah. I've never even thought about putting anything in there. It makes a really pretty little rose, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm never any good at getting this off, so it's going to be trial and error. And there, it doesn't go right. Look at that. Look. Have you got the, uh, did you pick up the sanding note pads for that? No, he's using Master Sassino. Ah, oh, you see? That's why. That's, right. That's why it's gone pink top. He's using Master Sassino. See, I don't listen. That's why it's sticky. Typical man. That's why it's sticky. Don't it, listen. Yeah. Work, it will still work, yeah. It'll still work. Yeah, really yeah look at it's that. It's coming. I'll just give it a little bit of a trim. But the Master Sassino would have been firmer, Bill. Yes. Yeah. As we know. Do we like it firm? Yes, we do. And then give me a little mat. There we go. Let's get the mat to dry. Wrong colour mat. I don't know what you did when you threw up that there. It's, it's blurred the camera. Yeah, there, it's all come back again. Yeah. I think when you threw that in there, some dust went up in front of the lens. I think it was a white on white. Do you think it's yeah. what it was? it was, it couldn't focus. <laughs> did you use that one? I just know what one you used. Look at that. He's been using Massa. Yeah, it's too soft. He's been using Massa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm using Massa. It's too soft. I could tell when he put it in. Use that one. Use the one I thought I prepared earlier. <laughs> I don't know what he's been doing down here. He's been having fun. <laughs> he's been playing with burning <laughs> the snail. <laughs> yes, he has. Got 10 minutes, guys. Okay. Just get do a couple of bows, stick it on there, and I will do. If I can find the diamond thing. And I'll do the little rose. Yeah, this ain't the right stuff. Is it not? No. Okay. Yeah, taste yeah, it. Yeah, not really yeah. Where it is. Do you prefer this? Do you prefer yeah. working with that then? Yeah, this is art. <laughs> Do you remember you said something about your big fingers before? That we should give this to Andrew. Why don't you buzz off and go and play with Brian the snail? <laughs> is it not working? No, because... Which, one, which, one's, which one's what? Where's yeah, which, let me smell it. I don't know about it. Yeah, I know it smells lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. No, that's it. Oh, it's not. Right, okay, we're going for the little bow. Yeah. I've got sticky fingers as well. <laughs> this is not going to work right tonight because we have both got sticky fingers. Okay, so I've got some cornflour on your fingers. Yeah. Just dab it on the top of there, this one. That's it. Hopefully that yeah. is going to work now. We have okay. a, a contingency plan. Do we? So so we see, see what it didn't even go right, look. There. So yeah. we made it. So sticky. So sticky fingers. There sticky fingers, yes. But Di we Di we Di says use cornflour. There. It does yeah. work. 
Because I've done that earlier. Yeah, we, we, we did, did all these lot. But this one no. didn't work out quite the yep. same. No. It will come out. Yeah, it will come out, but I don't know if it's going to come out well. Yeah, it'll come out. It'll be fine. Maybe you have to not. bend in. Yes, it doesn't want to come out. On its way. On its way. This is why we use oh, Christmas. This is why we use Karen Davis sugar yeah. paste. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're going to leave it in there. Oh okay, yeah. There we go. Mm. Right, so what we can do then is we can get. A little dress. There it comes. It's going to go ping! Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah. No, that's not right, is it? That's <laughs> not that good, is it, that one? Come on. It's really not that right. good. So we've got the but, little dress. Right, we're, we're, we're digging on that one. So we get the little, we get the dress, we get the edible glue, and the paintbrush. I don't know where it's gone. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's your job normally anyway, the sticky on. Yes. Just get one of the bows with a bit of glue on it. So the glue, that little bow just finishes it off, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. There we go, turn it around. There we go. So normally when you use the Karen Davies moulds, they are so simple and until you invite Angie and Phil to use them. Under pressure. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of comments. That's what we did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> They're very, very simple. In fairness, it is warm in the kitchen. We are baking and we have got sticky fingers, so yeah. don't worry about it. Right, so now I... Wendy quickly... says she's glad it's not just her that has this problem. <laughs> what, sticky fingers? Yeah. No. All right. we needed to do was corn flour our fingers first, just a little yes. dusted and we'd have been fine. Right, so what, I don't even know what's what now. That's normal. That's the same thing. Right. I'm sure that is, yes. I do need to make the rose. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly try and make the rose. I'm not quite sure quickly is the word to use, but I'll give it a go. How about the soap? Does it smell? That is it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> you can tell the difference. Yeah. I love Saracena, yeah. but it's nice, isn't yeah. it? Between Karen Davis sugar paste and Saracena, I could eat them up. <laughs> Lynn says they do look lovely. Excuse so we're going to make a little rose here. So this is the FMM rose cutter, the 40 mil one. So she, um, she's going to make a tiny little rose with this one. I need to stop calling you she, am Jay. That's so all right, I don't mind. Calling well, she all night. <laughs> Better than I, I suppose. <laughs> I'm going to do two just in case the first one doesn't go to plan. You should use your ball to pokey pokey to just push it out. Yeah, I could do. I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Amazingly, next to it. Because you know, it's just like everywhere, isn't <laughs> it? <isn't laughs> <that? laughs> you have a choice of two balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, transfer it over here and move this out. Can you just hold that for this? For just a moment. Right, I'm just going to. Go around the edges, just gently. To flare out the, uh, the rose petals. Move that way. Right. Okay. Because these can be a little bit fiddly. Not the trucker's fingers. <laughs> That's warm. Not for my big fingers either, I need to struggle. Transfer it back onto the green board. The glue, which is right under my nose. I must look for everything under my nose because it seems to be there. Right. Do you know what we all do? <laughs> it's it's amazing. You can't see, can you? <laughs> no, yeah, I think you, it doesn't matter what you're doing. When you go live, you just can't see yeah. anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on the one petal for now. And then, this is the tricky bit. I have to sort of pick it up for this one. You have to just roll it in. Can you make it back into that bar? The centre bit. Yeah. Is that all right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You can see that? Yeah, we can see that. And tip it up like that. That's your centre bit. Look at my there. Oh. <laughs> then we ignore the next petal and we come round to this one. Give it a bit, tiny little bit of glue. 
I'll go right to the edge, just up to about there. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You have to push this petal up and wrap it around like so. Then you come back on yourself. Do the same to this one. Pick it up like that. So Wendy, no, I don't sell the spaces, if I'm really honest. I do sell rolling pins with spaces, but I don't sell the spaces on their own. Having said that, I've got a whole load of them in my drawer that I, can put, that I don't use. I think a waste of time. So <laughs> could dig them out and give them your next order if you like. Can I make them out? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah, drop down, drop down, drop down. Oh, sorry, drop down. sorry. And then what you do is you can just hang on a little bit. So have a if you want it. Now, yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. Sorry, I'm just going to try and squeeze the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze the bottom a little bit because yeah. obviously I'm, I'm only need more of the bud for the actual biscuit because yeah. I don't want too much of all this excess. So what I'll do is I'll just give it a little roll, which does, I should put cornflour again on my hands and just bring it back a little bit. And what I do is I'll actually put this, I think, the phone ball is a little bit busy at the moment. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, what I would do is I would drop this into one of the holes. One of the holes. And probably fan it out a little bit more when it's in there and just leave it to dry off. Mm. And by the powers of magic, here's <laughs> one I made earlier. As you can see. So what I'd actually do now, if I wanted to, I could leave it just plain or I would actually possibly add a little bit of colour. That's wet. I don't want that one. Oh, here we go. So what I do is I just get a little bit of colour, which we should bring over here, onto the area. A little bit of in the brush. Can you just pop the lid with the label up next to it, please, just so everyone can see the colour? Perfect, thank you. And just literally dust around the edges. So we're using the Fractal Ruby. This is the Sue Pearl, which is really very shiny. Just to sort of like give it a little tint. And you can do it as much as you want to really. And you can just do the edges. So then, then all I do is, I'll chop the bottom off. <laughs> <laughs> chop the bottom off. Can you do it on the screen? Bring your hand on. I'm sort of just what back. happens to that bit that you've just dropped off? Like it's perks. That's it. <laughs> yeah. that's exact, see, this is exactly where I go wrong. So yeah. I drop that off and then I think, well, I can't throw it away. It's expensive. Well, that's it. I'll eat it. <laughs> and I'll try to sort of like I've got a very expensive body meat, then I'll survive it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a tiny little rose. Can tiny little rose. He's a cutie, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, very good. Like that, like that. Like that. that. Yep. Yeah. And then what I do, I did with these earlier, I made a couple and yep, that's the glue, just dab in here. So Wendy, I'm careful. going to give those little spaces that I've got to Laura, I've got a whole load of them and then she'll get them in an envelope. So if you give her a call in the morning, she'll tell you what to do with it, do so you can get them. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I'd probably cut a little bit more off the bottom, yeah. but it's not quite yeah, but it looks enough, good, doesn't yeah. it? So I put well, a couple on there. On a couple on. I put a couple on there. Oh, you've got a few more there. Cut them off. As long as you do oh, well, I made earlier. Yeah, which is all exactly. definitely cut up. Yeah. <laughs> Just give it a little dust. Not actually the same colour, but it will be fine. Oh yeah, that's a white one, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a white one. It's amazing how it stands out there yeah, now, isn't it? Yeah. It's only it's only because I I hadn't coloured the modelling paste and I'm actually. Because this one's been made a lot earlier. It's quite hard, so I can put that on there. Yeah, Check in here. That's not going to stay on there, is it? Yeah, that's good. There we go. Yay. That looks really good, doesn't it? And then the final yeah. thing. And the final thing is? The final thing is the bling. You can do it. You can do the bling. You're so good at the bling. It's all over it. Make the kitchen even more blingier. Yeah. Yes. It's a little puff. Mm. 
Look at that. I would try to you just it. hold the puff up to the camera just to I show everyone what you've really used. really pretty. Yeah. So Thank we're you. using the glitter spray here, the silver. It's got a gorgeous blush. In fairness, you guys may not be able to see it because I'm looking on the camera now. We might but just it's really tilt it slightly back, you know, just a little bit yep. to rock it backwards and forth. Yeah, rock it backwards a little bit. If you just sort of rock it backwards and forth so we can get it. Ah, oh, there we go. We can see it. Go and keep rocking it backwards and forwards. That's it. That's really pretty, isn't it? Can you see it? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Do we love it? Yay! It's gorgeous. Okay. Absolutely lovely. Yep, everybody loves that. Well done. Well done. Really done. Didn't they do a good job? I tell you, when anybody who's been in the kitchen, you know you think it's so easy, but it isn't. It really is quite scary. A lot of work. These guys have drove up from F6 today. They've been preparing, they've been baking, they've put a whole load of biscuits together. I'm not being funny, the kitchen full of biscuits, look at it, full of biscuits. I don't know how many they thought they were going to decorate. That's with what's, well, without what's in the oven. So these things here, this is what they've made. We're back over here, Laura. So these are fabulous, just to give you some really nice ideas. You've all bought moulds off me before. If you want to, you buy the Karen Davies moulds and stuff like that, just for the little add-ons. Really, really very, very pretty. So thank you very much, you two. Yeah, thank well you. done. Have you yeah, enjoyed it? Great. Yeah. So get those love hearts, thumbs going. Um, up. Oh, how much we like it. And you two enjoyed it as well. Oh, yeah, it's great. well. We're really pleased to have them here. We've never had anybody on here do ice cookies before, so been absolutely fantastic. So I know that you're all waiting for the drawer as well. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Who's going to pick one? So. Go this on, is for the sugar and crumbs. This is for the sugar oh, 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 and crumbs. Oh, 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 hang on, pull them back in. Pull them back in. Two more. So uh, this is for the sugar and crumbs bake off. Okay, so it was cake week, week two. Sorry. Tomorrow <laughs> we'll be doing week three. So we'll announce it tomorrow. And it will be after the Great British Bake Off. We'll announce it. And then you've got another week to go. So if I hold that up there, Phil. So this week's <laughs> winner is da 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 da. Here we go. Who is it? The winner is Johnny Jund. Johnny Jono. Johnny Jono. Hey, Johnny. well done, Johnny Jono. I don't know who's watching tonight. You've well hold it done. to prove to everybody if that's all right. Yeah. So under this ticket, under this that. One there. Up. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Are we on the right camera? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, well done. Thank you won't you. know his number. Oh, right, okay. I just need them to write them on. So you can see everybody's names was in there. We just popped them all in. Yeah. So everybody's name went in. So well done, Johnny, Johnny Jono. Jono. Yeah, that's good. A bloke winning it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I should have got Angie to do it. Yeah. Hey? <laughs> so well done. So I'll pull that out there. So just to remind you about the winter flavours. Five winter flavour bundle deal. They're on sale. Buy four, get one free. And then just to let you know the cutters that we've got, we've got a whole range of cutters here. Let me grab them all for you. So these are all on the website. Don't know whether you can see them there. Yeah. Good old Brian. <laughs> so these are the Blossom Art sugar cutters. So there's two cakes, by the way. So there's the whimsical wedding cake, and then there's the wedding cake. Then you've got the wedding dress. You've got the cupcake cooker, cut it, cookie cutter. I've not put that one on. I'll put it on in a minute. The bottle, the love heart, Brian the snail, <laughs> teddy bear. We've got a teacup, a circle cutter, which is great. Butterfly, teapot. As somebody said, ready for the uh, Macmillan morning. Um, baby jumpsuit. And then, guys, these are in. These are the really big cutters. Now, these are massive cutters. These are called comfort cutters. You get two, and this is the ghost and the little pumpkin. Oh, they're in. Cute. Then you've got the pumpkin and the bat. They're in. And then you've got the boo. <laughs> I like them. Good <laughs> facts. I like that, Carol. <laughs> eh? Was that I good like sound effects, that, was it? Yeah. 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 And then we've got, I love this. Look at that for a cake stand for the kids. How cool is that? That's really cool. That's good, isn't yeah, it? That's so fantastic. it comes in a pack. Just make it all up. Look, there he is. He's looking all lovely and cute. So those are in for Halloween. Yeah? Fantastic. Right, brilliant. So 
Thursday, I'm here on Thursday doing a Facebook Live and I'm going to be doing a bowl of cupcakes with Nifty Nozzles. And basically all that means is I'm going to show you how to use Nifty Nozzles and I'm going to make them in a nice arrangement into a nice big bowl it's for a presentation if you want to do them, I don't know, to some wedding function or to a do and you can just pick them off. So I'll be doing that on Thursday morning with you. So come and join me, 11 o'clock live and I will see you then. Otherwise, on Monday, it's Marion from Patchwork Cutters. She's coming in, she's actually gonna show you how to make a model, a flower, and she's going to do some brush embroidery. So I've asked her, will she do that for you? So I'm not here on Monday, but Laura and Maria are gonna be looking after Marion for you. Woohoo! But I will Hi. be watching. <laughs> <laughs> I will be watching, so behave yourself. So I'm gonna be the other side of the screen watching these guys. So, and Laura, my daughter, will be in the kitchen next Thursday. And then the following Monday, we've got Claire Corbett coming in. Do we know what Claire's doing? Has she decided? She did put up a post on there on the community group to find out what you all wanted, but I don't think she's decided yet. So we've got Laura coming in for the next two Thursdays, Marion on Monday, and Claire Corbett the week after. And then we've got a lovely lady coming in called Susanna on the 1st of October, which is when we'll be releasing all the Dinky Doodles, finger, Dinky Doodles, fingers crossed. Um, she'll be coming in doing um, stencils that she makes for Evil Cake Genius. So that's really one to watch as well. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Angie and Phil. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an absolute yeah, pleasure. Right. In fairness, it's been a really good laugh, hasn't it? <laughs> we have enjoyed it. So thank you for joining us, guys. See you on Thursday. Don't forget to like and share. It's very important you share us. And if you're on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe. <laughs> you want to see what Laura and Maria do behind the camera. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to YouTube, even if you don't watch us on there because you watch us on the Facebook Live. Please go over to our channel on YouTube. We're trying to build up our subscribers. Don't worry, we don't get paid. We're, no, we're a long, long way from millions. Maria actually told me that we made £2 the other week. I was well chuffed. Time to order a cup of coffee on those ones yet. She went, Carol, we made £2. Two pounds. <laughs> so um, see you on Thursday morning, 11 o'clock. Bye bye. Bye. bye.